So uh, good evening, sir, and uh, thank you for having you here at the uh, Khnom Sa region of Kampung Spu, sir, uh, one of the uh, gradually uh, growing tourism uh, destination in Cambodia. And uh, right now, uh, as the set, as the sun began to set, uh, the beauty is very beautiful here in this location, sir. And uh, if my memory does not fail me, I was informed that you have been traveling here two times. Uh, so between the first and the second time, sir, can you uh, just express your uh, opinion, your emotion? Which one is, uh, I mean, what is the difference uh, for each one and which one is your favorite trip, sir? Thank you. Uh, the first trip happened a few years back when the trail was a bit more natural. Um, there was not um, an attempt to make it a bit easier. Uh, but this time it was a bit, how you say, smoother, but it doesn't mean that it is less challenging. So in a way, when I started from the bottom of the mountain going up, uh, it takes a bit less time. About The first time was about five hours plus. My very first time, uh, a bit more overweight. And um, this time around three hours. But each time it was very, very uh, challenging each, each, uh, on its own term. Uh, as for the experience, once you get on the top of the mountain, the beauty remains the same. But uh, of course, the first time that I came, it was during the dry season, so a bit oh. more yellowish. Whereas now it is the rainy season, it is completely amazing and beautiful. So you have a mix of a challenge in terms of adventure, uh, getting out there. But once you come on top, it's the beauty, the relaxing. Um, I think it gets your mind off the burden, the responsibility, yes, the sir. duty that you may have uh, at Phnom Penh or other area. Yes, so sir. a very short drive out of Phnom Penh, a great opportunity to challenge yourself outdoor and also a completely amazing beauty. So a mix of the world. And yes sir, uh, as a politician you are a very busy person. And uh, this morning uh, after of course uh, beginning the trip very early in the morning, uh, you also hike up the mountain outpacing many travelers. Um, uh, also many of those who are younger than you. So, I mean, uh, how do you come up with this determination? So even though for me, I also climb a little bit late. So uh, is there anything that goes beyond just physical strength, sir? Uh, I think um, my second time, and I learned it from a lot of more experience than I do, uh, the physical preparation is one thing. But when you actually climb and also a long pace, and long distance, the mental aspect is very important. So it, it, it is very important to keep up uh, and keep going forward. Uh, don't give up. Uh, I think you will reach your destination. And that's very important for, for it. But again, the reward is just amazing. So you also get tired a bit, but the mental strength, just keep it up. Sir. Of course, I do stop uh, so many times. Um, but uh, the most important thing is not to stop to give up or to go back. See, to keep on moving, for, move, moving forward, even though you have to stop many times, but going forward is very important. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, because this place is a bit new and uh, mostly Cambodian people are coming here. So do you have any uh, message that you want to send to the expat living in Cambodia, sir? Like, do you want to see this place being filled with both Cambodian and foreign tourists? Is there anything that you want to say to them, sir? No, uh, it is a very un, uh, yet to be discovered how beautiful it is. Knom Sa and Knom Sa Pai, which is a chain of uh, mountain that is really linked. You can actually climb up Knom Sa, come up to Knom Sa Pai to watch the, the sunset. Yes, and then you try about another hour to get ready to, not too far from here, about an hour uh, hike to see the sunrise. It's a beauty that uh, be uh, beyond comprehension. But you have to experience to know. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I think the the public, both uh, domestic and international, uh, are not so much aware of the opportunity that they can actually come to visit. Um, how time uh, consuming it is, uh, how you say, acceptable. Uh, it takes only uh, a few hours drive out of Phnom Penh, you can stay overnight uh, to enjoy the sunset and also the sunrise and then you can go back. So uh, one weekend, full trip, enjoying the beauty, get away from uh, from the uh, the busy schedule that you have and challenge yourself to an outdoor, a different pace from the city life. I think that's, that's really amazing. So I would love 
to see, um, and I am aware that uh, a few ambassadors and so diplomatic corps have already hiked mm, uh, and experienced uh, by their own self. They can actually vouch for it, uh, but definitely for diaspora, uh, for a diplomatic corps or international uh, friends who are staying uh, in uh, long term in Cambodia, they possibly can find more about information about Khnom Sa and how to visit, how to access and how to experience it. It is uh, an experience that we'll never forget. And just uh, the last question from me, uh, starting from National Road 4, uh, turning right, of course, uh, about maybe uh, 50 or 60 kilometers. I mean, uh, as a member of parliament, uh, the, the road uh, is still a bit bumpy, but there are still, of course, construction on the way, such mm -hmm. as the concrete uh, bridges, which uh, uh, reduces the impedance of travel. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the future, sir, I mean, uh, practically wise, uh, do you plan to make the, the infrastructure a bit more accessible to uh, the public? And uh, does it also um, reduce the vibe of adventure if we, if we do that? I think the, the, uh, we, we need to separate the two. Uh, yes, first is the pace of development yes, and sir. the planning to what, how to connect uh, the main uh, the road from this area, especially the district of Tassal uh, in Oral to the main road in uh, National Road Number 4 and yes, other road, that is off the plan. But it requires a bit of time to actually do. Yes, we know that there is a plan for from the private sector to build and connect the road from Oral to Kok Kong directly. Yes, but it will take a certain period of time. Um, on the question, if I'm not mistaken and uh, I'm misunderstanding your question, is that if we develop, would we yes. lose the sense of adventure? Yes, sir. I don't think that it will happen. Because what you actually develop and make sure the access and accessibility to the area, it only stop at a certain point. Mm -hmm. So when you actually uh, develop the road to make it much easier to come to the community of Tassal, where you can, uh, you, you are welcome uh, before you actually start riding uh, Koyun uh, to the step of the mountain, to the bottom of the mountain and before you actually hike up. So the access and accessibility on the main road, which yes, is will not impact on mm -hmm. your challenge and the sense of adventure once you actually hike from uh, the bottom of the mountain up to the mountain. So actually it would help and it's complementary. So Knong Sa will remain an adventurous place for tourists? Sir. We do hope that it remains as an eco-tourism destination in which people really can relax, get away from the city life yes. and the burden and the responsibility that they may have. A very short getaway, but a lot of opportunity to really relax, uh, to, uh, to change and to refresh and to restart before Monday. Yes, uh, so you, you travel Saturday morning, you go back to Sunday. work on Monday, very mind uh, fresh, uh, fresh mind.